Hello, all of you vaingloriously wonderful people, and welcome back to Timberborn. God, I love this game. They're just so cute. Look at them. Look how adorable. Look at them. They're adorable. So, uh, today, we are going to focus on getting a new food source. Not that we need the food, but I'm really approaching it more from a well-being standpoint. And we're going to focus on getting uh, just some more well-being. And we're going to start with the well-being with a thing that we already have unlocked which is the rooftop terrace yes i could use the space on top of those roofs for something else to stack with but we may as well start getting in a few things for our beaver friends to enjoy i've also noticed that the water isn't quite holding up through the night so i think just to be safe i'm going to build one more of our water pumps here we have 15 beavers that need a place to work so we'll be fine in doing that and then while we're over here at the water i want to extend out all of these by one and all of these by one and then come back into well-being and unlock our showers you can see that gives them a basic need of wet fur uh, and that will also improve their well-being so i'm gonna plop in a lot of those like 10 of them should be enough for 55 beavers to get through them in a couple days uh and then we're gonna go back into well-being and we're going to grab the shrine uh i'm gonna put just one right here and it may seem silly to only put one there but you'll see why in a bit uh and i'm gonna tuck one into this corner and one into this corner Maybe not quite as many as I would like. Uh, we could maybe throw a couple back here, but that's really far from their homes. But uh, it won't hurt. It's just 10 logs. Uh, and then we'll get one more right there. So that's five, six shrines. Six. Cool. And then we're going to go into decoration. And we're going to unlock uh, the lantern. Actually, yeah, the lantern. We're going to get that. And we're gonna we're gonna put a lantern in somewhere. I don't know where. Maybe like right. Actually, that doesn't really have the best range, does it? Mm. Okay, I know. We're gonna we're gonna stack some things here. So we're gonna put that in. And then I need to be careful on my research because I also want to get the medium tank and drop it right there so we can store even more water. And then I also want to get the large warehouse. Uh, because the food source that we're going to be, uh, using, oh gosh, that doesn't leave me enough for the next thing. That's okay though. We'll, we'll get there. Um, and then I'm going to immediately tear that back down because I don't want that there. But the food source that we're going to be using, uh, spatter dock, uh, is also good for creating, um, fuel though potatoes is the best so we might our potatoes are the best we might use potatoes instead but i'd like to have large storage available just in case i decide that that's what i want to go with so what i want to do is prioritize my lantern uh, and then i'm going to come back to the decoration yeah i don't have enough to get the other things do you have enough to get this and that's one of the other things i wanted to do right here and I'm putting them right here where they come socialized so that they'll get the benefit. At least some of them will get the benefit of it. Not all of them. I could build another one like up here uh, and that would help. But I'm going to low prioritize that so that this gets built first. And in fact, I think I will put another shrub like right there. So at least, you know, half of them are getting the benefit of this. And then our final thing here will be a beaver statue, but obviously we don't have enough points for that. And I want to get enough points to unlock our um, aquatic farmhouses. So while we're thinking about aquatic farmhouses, I want to make an area for all of this production to begin. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> not sure how that happened. Did it autosave? It may have autosaved just as I was moving the mouse. So that's a little unfortunate that that's not going to reach up there. I may put stairs there. Not 100% certain. And then I'm going to run another set of these back here. Like so, but not here. 
Uh, this is going to be where our spatter dot mostly gets planted. I am, however, going to throw in some stairs there. I will connect that one. That may as well. Um, let's just get paths on top of all of that. And then I'm just going to go to there on that one, just in case I decide I want to, to do something with that. So we're going to throw that in there, and then we're going to come back in uh, behind here with a three and three by two and three by two there, uh, because that's going to be where the aquatic farmhouses go once we get the science points for them. Um, Brendan wasn't paying attention, so yeah. So now where do we want to set up the processing of all of this is the question. Um, I'd rather not take up fertile land. At the same time, I don't want to take up too much of this land. I always over plant this stuff though. So with that said, I am going to go ahead and just store the spatter dock right there. Uh, the uncooked spatter dock. And then I think I'm just going to go ahead and have the grillers right here too. And then we'll plant on this side and then any that we can get over here and back in this corner. And then this area will be for production. Uh, because when I put these in, they we lose the ability to, to store anything there. So I am going to go with... Actually, no. We're going to just build a regular warehouse over here for the grill spider dock for now. We're just going to stick with medium warehouses for the time being for food storage until we get like a really big district. Uh, I don't think we need to worry about anything bigger than that. This one will be our regular uncooked spatter dock. And there we go. That is a lot for them to construct. As you can see, they've just got the water pump and some of these platforms in. So this is going to take just a little while oh they did get this in as well good so we've got well-being ah and and our lantern cool, cool, cool uh so i can change this back to normal priority it's gonna be a while before we have enough points for that beaver statue but the lantern alone if we go in here now in well-being anybody who has sat yeah 26 of our beavers have already had a half a point added to their well-being uh, same with the ones that have gone to the rooftop terrace. That will eventually fill up with two of them. If I put in a second campfire, we could probably take care of both of those. I keep hitting escape. Sorry. Uh, so let's get past this nighttime and start getting some showers constructed. I think that's the next thing on our agenda. Oh, we also have the bad tide, though, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Um... So you know what, let's just go ahead and jump to over here and then, did I just see beavers coming over here? What are they, why are they over here? Oh, I know what they're doing. They're picking up debris. It says no space available because all of our log storage is full. Uh, though that one doesn't say that, so that's weird. Um, and it's, it's true, all of our log storage is full. But, so bad tide's gonna start, so we're gonna wait for morning to tick over and I'll speed that up. No need to, to do an edit here. We'll just speed up the game. And then we are going to pause. Now this should all be high enough to prevent that bad tide flooding. The only place I'm still worried about is back in through here, but it cleared out pretty quick. So I'm not as concerned as I was when I saw it flood last time and kind of had a, a bit of a, a freak out moment. So we're going to... Clog all that up. That's already at 0.5. That's that's fine where it is. Clog it all up. Close them all up. So those are now closed. That one's wide open. So now we should... I mean, yeah, it's still going to spill over here like it did. But that's fine because we now have our levees and a taller floodgate. So it, it's not a big deal. It's no longer going to be able to get into our fresh water supply. And then, of course, over here, we knew that that was tall enough already. Um, and they're safe go if they do happen to go down in the water, though they don't really have a way to do so uh, because there is no bad water on the side, even though the ground is contaminated and won't let anything grow. It's not so much that they uh, are unable to, to walk on it. Yeah, we might want to do something about this down here um, in our next off bad tide season. We'll probably get a couple bad tides in a row, though, before we get droughts. Yeah, that is just right there on the precipice of spilling over. 
We can widen this channel, but not till we get dynamite. And we're, we're a ways off from dynamite yet. So anyway, down here, they have indeed built a few showers. I don't know that they did it before anybody was able to enjoy them. No, we do. We have over half of our beavers with wet fur. So that, that will be a full 1.0 once they all get a chance to, to take a shower. So the bad waters or bad tides ended already. That was fast. But I, again, I just want to let most of it work its way out. And we're starting to reap the benefits of our work with the uh, recreation or the socialization and with the showers. It's working. We want that number as high as we can get it because they live longer, they work faster, they move faster. So we could open this gate, but I kind of want to let the, the water pressure work its way this way. And if I open this gate, we're only going to have half of it. I'd rather leave it closed and have a temporary drought situation. Um, I am going to raise that up just so none of this backwater can backwash you. Um, I, I just want to make sure we get at least in front of this gate cleared. Well, that flood is holding on, isn't it? Granted, we know that that's not enough for that water to flow through. We're definitely, we're going to have to do something about this. Um, if anything, we can open this, build this up and block this off. And that way it has a second way through. Not really the best solution, but I also don't like that it floods over like that. Cause if we have a bad water that lasts like two or three days, that's going to flood enough to fill this way up and it may wind up spilling over into here. I have plans for this. I eventually want to get fresh water flowing back here. Ideally, I want to get this completely blocked off so that it is just flowing straight out um, so that I can have this just be fresh water uh, and not worry about this one. And then the same thing over here, I kind of want to get it like blocked this halfway off and send the bad water down one side and have fresh water on the other. Um, it's going to take a lot of work. We, and I don't know that we're going to get there <laughs> in just four videos. Because again, I'm recording four videos in one day. Uh, it'll take a month for them to all go live. But I am recording them all in one day. So I haven't seen your comments or anything like that. I hope you're enjoying the series. I know I am. I, I love this little game. I absolutely love it. So we can open that one. We're safe to do so. And we can open this one because it is all cleared out. And then we should yep, be safe to close that one. But now we have to skedaddle way over here before we... Well, we're not in danger of flooding yet. But I'm going to go ahead and lower those down to our halfway mark. And turn our water back on so we can see it a little more clearly. I love just watching the color come back to all the, the plants and trees as the water comes by and then all the stuff that died just watching them quickly replant it it's i don't know it's satisfying all right we are flooding at half so but it, we're not flooding because of this because the flood's localized back there but i am going to let some of that pressure maybe run for a day with this wide open and then i think we'll be safe to put it back at a half and man they have got nearly everything built already holy cow they're moving and we are nowhere near what we need on science are we um oh no we are we're, we're pretty close so we should be there pretty soon so let's uh just jump cut to when they've got all this built and we have enough science and i said that incredibly optimistically not paying any attention to what we have available and we're out of plank so what i'm going to do for now is turn off our gear workshop uh, we don't have anything that calls for gears at this present time. So I'm turning it off because it consumes planks um, up to, well, 10 every three hours. So I think that's right. Uh, no, hold on. I read that wrong. Yeah, no, it's not 10 every three hours, but it can hold 10. And that's enough to get them through 10 hours. Our workday is 16 hours. So yeah, it can take like 12, 13 of our planks. And that's 12 or 13 planks that we really need right now because we still have all of this to build. Plus, this dude takes 80 planks. Yikes. Big, big yikes. So, uh, 
we might have the, the spatter dock planted and harvested long before we actually uh, get to do any grilling with it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, it, it, if we don't have the planks for our platforms, then we're going to be in a world of hurt. But let's let this go and, and we'll pick back up in a few minutes. So while we wait, since research is going to start becoming quite the commodity uh, and we're going to need a lot of it let's shift gears since we don't have planks but we do have logs we have a bunch of extra beavers we're going to need uh two four and then i never built the grills but uh five six for that so that's seven eight um well, we already got that. So six, we've got two. So I think I can get away with building one more researcher. Uh, so I'll just plop him just kind of up here on this hill and spin it around. And that will quadruple our research being done each day. I would really like to get this one, but I can't because uh, we're not getting pine resin. We could get pine resin, but I would have to also unlock the tapper shack and we're kind of it's expensive and it, it's requires a lot of planks we're kind of at a low but we have already gone up an average we were at 14 it drops back down to 13 once they're awake um but we were at 14 and you can see the shrubs the lantern the rooftop terrace the campfire even uh the shrines are all paying dividends so they're definitely worth the resources it took to build because if we go in here now and look, let's just grab um, a beaver who's at level 14. So I'm gonna pause for a minute since that's where we were. So you can see they've got a 20% working speed. Next is at when they hit 15. So like this guy is a 40%. Uh, so if we then look at him, his uh, next tier is at 22 for movement. But right now he has a 15% boost. And then 17 for life expectancy, but right now he has a 20% boost. So it, it it pays to do this. Your beavers live longer and they work faster. Uh, and it, it, that and they move faster. You know, so this is this is all good stuff to do. Um, you want to focus on your well-being while you're also focusing on just building stuff. You know, I could just sit here and spam out uh, a ton more lumber mills, but Right now, that's not really the best use of my labor. I, I'd really like to get that well-being as high as I can get it as early as I can get it uh, so that it can kind of grow as my district grows and we can, as we unlock more advanced resources, we can build the well-being items that bring fun and more spirituality and knowledge and all that good stuff. Uh, that just continues to boost and boost and boost that well-being. So again, we need to let this run. It'll probably take a little while since we're so low on planks and so much of this requires planks. Like I think even the farmhouses take planks. Yeah, so we're we're gonna be hurting for just a little bit, but I'm gonna struggle bust through it alone. I'm not gonna make you uh, sit here and watch it, not even a sped up footage. I'm just gonna drink some Dr. Pepper and, and I guess, uh, browse through discord servers while i wait so we have everything built now um and we even have a few planks starting to accumulate the problem is we don't have workers for everything our two grillers and this farmhouse do not have workers um so you know we could build some more housing but that's going to require a lot of planks but the next project i want to do is going to require a lot of planks as well uh, so what I may do for now is build just one more house, the one that we have a way for them to get to. We could put in some more back here, I suppose. Yeah, we'll put in a couple more back there. Um, but the door needs to go on that side. It matters, okay? I mean, it doesn't, but to me it does, so... I'm doing it. So that'll get us four more houses. So room for 12 more beavers. And that'll give us a little bit of a buffer. So when we have a death wave like we just encountered, uh, it won't be as uh, much of a setback for the district. Uh, it'll, it'll go better. The problem, though, is I, I want to get one more thing done today for well-being. And it requires a lot of planks. Uh, which means I need to let a lot of planks get made. 
um, we're not going to have water flowing in a moment, though. It's going to just be stagnant because we're going to shut off the source of water. And yeah, that makes, that makes it a problem, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Uh, so, hmm, I may have to just let this run for a little while before we can actually finish up today, but I will get things shut down for this bad water, and then I'll pick back up once we have some planks done. I think it's 60 that we need, and we've got a, a dozen, so it won't take too terribly long. Each one, they, they crank out like 36 a day between the three factories, so shouldn't take too terribly long once this bad water is past. And in fact, let's just go ahead and start closing these off with everything running. It'll be fine. And then we'll open this one up. So water will flow through there, stop flowing through there. And then I want to come over here. I really, I really wish I could just close that. But every time I do, we flood. But maybe since I shut it off back there first, we'll be in better shape. I don't know. We'll see. If I flood, I'll, I'll drain some. Yeah, we're starting to flood, but it might be okay. It might subside as the sun comes up because evaporation is a thing in this game. So I'm not going to panic about the flooding just yet. I'll, I'll deal with it if it gets bad enough. Let's speed things up. It is getting pretty bad, but I think it's... I really think it's going to subside uh, once this bad tide really kicks in. And it's not like we really need any of these buildings to be producing anything right now. Anyway, we've got a lot of stuff. We do have quite a few flooded buildings, though. 45. But I'm, I'm thinking... I'm, I really do think that evaporation is going to start clearing this out. Because it's not too terribly high above. What we could do... Here's what we can do. We can open this to let water out just briefly and then raise it back up and see if that doesn't clear our flood. Um, mostly, maybe one more quick burst. Actually, yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, we're good. We're, we are good. It may, yeah, it's gonna just peak every once in a while as some of this water works its way through, but we're fine. We are absolutely fine. So cool. Uh, like I said, I just want to get a bunch of planks made, but can't do that while these aren't turning. And I'm not going to put a bunch of power wheels in anywhere because I have to cut down a lot of trees. And I want to do that. So we're going to just patiently wait, or I'm going to patiently wait. But hey, the bad tide's over already. I talked through an entire day. I'll get these gates back open when I can. And then I'll see you when we have, I think it's 60 planks. So I'll make sure of the number that we need. And, uh, and then we'll pick up from there. And we have nearly reached 60. We'll have 60. They're using them somewhere else. Is there something else still under construction? I don't think so. I don't know where they just used a few. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, they keep like disappearing. Maybe that says they're carrying them over there. I, I don't really know. Uh, but we are going to get our final building for today built. So what is this mystery build, building? It, it's it's under well-being. And we are going to go for dun, 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 the temple. Requires 150 logs, 60 planks, and probably more importantly, 400 science, which we have 1.1 1 .1 thousand. So we're good. And it's a big one. Uh, it's going to take up this whole corner. Uh, so that is where we're going to plop that dude down. And yes, I want to unlock that. But we're also going to decorate around it because that will, oh wow, just from the spatter dock, we already went up a point. So we started off at what, 10? We're already at 15. But we're gonna decorate around this as well uh, because that will also improve uh, well-being as they come and visit. Uh, and then since we have the points, even though we don't have quite, I know we have enough materials now, we're going to unlock our beaver statue as well, so that when they come to the temple, they're walking past a beaver statue. Uh, and that will help with well-being. I want to check and see how many are getting exposed to the lantern. Not many, so we might even... Yeah, I guess I should probably should put the beaver statue there. Yeah, we can do that. Let's, let's switch these two. They yeah, haven't started building it yet. Uh, so decoration, we'll put the lantern here so it gets everybody as they pass by. 
And then the beaver statue will as well, because as they pass by, it has a pretty big range. And that will help them in that regard. And they are moving on all of this super duper quick. But before they finish that, I want this stuff back here finished because I don't really have a, a path back there because these two will block it. So I want to get the shrubberies that are around it finished because everybody loves a shrubbery, right? Uh, but the beaver statue, the lantern, and this along with the shrubberies are going to make for some very happy beavers when they come and visit the temple. So it's going to be... Pretty freaking awesome. So let's uh, just kind of speed through getting all of this built. There's the beaver statue done. So I can just make that regular priority. Though it's the only thing we're building. So it's the only thing to work on. And we'll have a temple in just a moment. So there we go. The temple has been built and people are going to start visiting it. And as they do, we can hear them chanting inside, which is adorable. There's 17. We might even get to 18, possibly 19 with this. So let's let's see what happens. There's 18 and I figured they would, it would climb. There's 19 or are we going to get 20? We might. I don't know. Eh, it's awful late at night. Yeah, we're not going to get to 20, but we did get to 19. I'm going to slow things down and we're going to take a look at this. So you can see that pretty much everybody who came over here to the temple uh, was also exposed to the beaver statue. Uh, didn't quite get through the entire population, but look at that, 2.1 on our overall well-being. So we're doing good. We've only got four more uh, food sources that we can even grow. Um so that'll be easy to do. Uh, this will be easy. That I can't get the multiple. Cannot get that until we have metal, which we're probably not going to get to that in these four videos. And so I don't know if we'll get to it at all. Um, because, you know, again, this is the third of the four that I'm recording in one single day. I'm trying to find like a good view of that to make like a thumbnail, but there really, really isn't, is there? So maybe we come in like. There we go. There's our thumbnail. Perfect. Beautiful. Uh, anyways, uh, this series will continue past the fourth video that I'm going to record in just a few minutes uh, based upon how well it has performed. And I'm going to look at, you know, not only views that perform above average for my channel, which doesn't take a whole lot. I mean, look at my channel. Um, and has it gotten good engagement, meaning likes and comments? Um, if it hasn't, that's fine. I'll, I'll take that as a clear signal that... You guys just aren't interested in the Denver Born all that much. And like I said in the first video, I'll just go back to streaming on Twitch all the time. Well, not all the time, but a lot. Um, but if it does do really well, then this will become a regular series. And I can take your feedback that you've given me over the past three weeks uh, and put it into place in upcoming videos. But until next time, I'm Brandon reminding you to stay vainglorious.